Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Midnight Club Los Angeles. Uh, today is episode number two. I've literally just recorded episode one. How have I forgotten what number it is? This is why I have failed maths, because I can't count. But anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, carrying on with the missions. Pretty self-explanatory, just following the storyline. Um, as of today's upload, I don't think it's long before Need Speed Heat. Um, so I'm really looking forward to when that game comes out. Uh, there is some new gameplay that's come out for it, uh, which looks amazing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Ouch. Um, again, I just want to say if you want to support the channel, help support the channel, then please press that join button. Right uh, it would mean the world to me. Uh, but we need to get to the start line first. We are going the right way. Woo! Um, I have noticed that Midnight Club is set in midnight. But, I wonder, is there actually any daytime? Or is it just like, as the story progresses, the timeline changes? I don't know. Honestly though, I prefer older games. Uh, there's our YouTube store again. That store brings us the views. Best Buy. This place is amazing though, this map, because it's got so many real stores. There you go, Pizza Hut. Um, I think there was a Burger King. I don't know. Does America have Burger King? I presume you they would. Like the kind of from right, let's go. There's so many different things that must have been licensed for this game that the licensing must have been expensive as hell for it. Let's go! Why did I follow the corner? There was a shortcut there. I call this driving. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. <coughs> um. Come on, Romeo, show me something.
Ah, there's the YouTube store. I'm gonna say it every time. It's gonna be our little like midnight club walk for a meme. Mr. Beast is probably in there. Should we pop in and say hi next time we drive past? Oh, that joke's gonna get boring very quick. It's not Hope even you're a ready joke. For some rough stuff. I'm about to make a Oh, you got family that would kill me? Because I went for doing on your rear bumper. I just killed someone. Pizza Hut. Ah, oh, Pizza Hut. Ah, oh, Pizza Hut. You really don't want to a girl, do you? Oh, shut up. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Let me win! Yes, the finish line. Come on, we can make it. Oh, yes! First place. Oh, we gotta get two wins. Oh, it's one of these things. Not gonna lie. Last time I played this, I kept failing. And I kept losing races. And I would be on like the final stretch. I would lose the last race. Like everyone would have one point. I would lose the last race, and it would annoy me like crazy. Uh, this time on the train interior. Such a dinky little car. You really don't but the, the one thing I like about this game is it actually looks like you're inside the car rather than just the camera on there. It actually feels like you're inside the car with all the shakes and the wobbles and everything. Like the way your head moves when you turn around corners. Got enough NOS now. Yeah. Oh, fucker. I messed that up. See, this is what I mean. I would do so well, and then all of a sudden, oof, I failed.
let's go, we're back in the lead. There we go. Probably should have switched to the other side of the road. Would have had more of a chance of getting out of that alive. Um, but it's not the end of the world. The cool thing is, right, we're driving cars at like 88 miles an hour and it feels fast. And when you get cars that go like 150, it feels faster. But it already feels quite fast, as it is. It's really good. Um, I mean, I don't think I praise games um, positive much after Fallout 76. Like, I had so much good intentions, and it was like, nah, nah, eh. But I really do enjoy this game. Uh, return to cruise. Yes, the thing like vehicle. Get luck. What you got for me, Carol? Some advice, which you'll probably ignore, but whatever. I'm feeling nice. Hopefully you've realized by now there's all sorts of drivers out there. Some good like me, some bad like you. The tougher the opponent, the more money and rep you earn. Thanks, man. Uh, right. I want to head towards Hollywood Auto. I don't actually know if there's a way you can fast travel. Um, I don't think there is, but the map is very small anyways. I mean, it's a typical Rockstar game. It's not like the maps are ever going to be huge in a Rockstar game. To be fair, Red Dead Redemption 2, the map was fairly big. But I think it was... I think it was more detailed than big. Um, yo, does it actually have like a miles driven camera? It legit has a miles driven counter. Look, it counts up on the dashboard. about yo laws. Okay, so that's what I was talking about in the last episode, um, where cop cars will respond if you drive through certain places. go Hollywood Auto oh, 
Um, you must repair your vehicle before you can continue. Yes. Right, performance. What performance do we have? I don't expect there's anything. This was really hard to um, unlock performance stuff. Uh, we got different hoods. Um, I quite like the look of that one. Um, intercooler. I'm guessing that's exposed intercoolers. Um, I like the stock one. Scissor doors, of course, from last episode. Uh, let's have some neons. I want some... There we go. Um, license plates. Uh, okay, hang on. We're gonna go for it. Yeah, I yeet. There we go. Ya yeet, that is my number plate. Except. Um. Yeah, that looks good. Pay and check out. Uh, hydraulics, that's one thing I want to look at. Okay, so I'm going to go for the airbags, because the airbags... There. The car lowers... Uh, when you turn the engine off, the car actually lowers. Uh, if you look like that, if you look how low it is, and then when you drive away, it goes back up. Or even when you stop the car. Like, the engine doesn't even have to go off. So you pull up at a set of traffic lights. There's a cop behind me. Oh, shit. Please, go away. Yes. I didn't expect a cop car to be right behind me. Yeah, man. Let's ditch these coppers. Let's ditch the coppers. Nikolai's on fire. You have no chance. Shall I call 911? Call 911? What do you mean? Why would you call 911 if someone's on fire? Let them burn. Let them burn. Uh, let's go for the classic camp for a little bit. I would put hydraulics in this car. 
but I don't think the hydraulics will suit it. Just it's a nightmare. Because you accidentally trigger them and then you have to drive with like the left the right thumbstick as the accelerator and you use the triggers to like drop and lower and raise everything. It's kinda complicated. Well, it's not complicated, but it's not the easiest way it could have been done. Yeah, I'm good. That was a short race. Performance level one. Nice. Oh, my nose is blocked. I think my Sudafed's gone missing as well. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Right, so we're here in a photo mode, actually. Uh, this is actually kind of difficult to control. Oh, that's quite nice. Snap photo. Save photo. Uh, save to slot. There we go. How many photos can we have? Oh, only... Only 16 photos. Ah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's carry on though. I also like this, the looking up thing. And then also in cockpit cam. Not many games actually have this thing. Like, I think Driving San Francisco has this. We can sort of like zoom in. Be like, ooh. Super focus. I mean, zoomed in cockpit cam is much easier than. Look at you. You're thinking on hold position? It's much easier to drive than any other camera angle. But it's also very difficult to drive because you're having to hold the left stick up for like the whole race. Oh, I didn't know it's like that. Yeah, D. See ya. See ya. See ya. Can give a fuck about ya. Now we're going back through here. Meow. Because I am. I'm currently holding a very strong lead. Yeah, I am a lunatic. I'm a crackhead. I'm a nut job. Nutcase. Wee. Uh, oh, we got two grand now. Oh, and we got another race as well. Let's go do that. I'm planning on recording uh, this video for another 20 minutes or so, so this is going to be quite long. Go! The thing is though, I'm already in fourth gear and I'm only going 80 miles an hour. We have to come off the highway as part of this race. I think not, sir. Enjoy it while he's last. Not 
Move, bitch. Get out the way. Why does the back of the car look very angry? Like, you know, when people say cars have faces, the back of my car definitely has an angry look to it. It's like perplexed but angry. Like, the bumpers, it's trembling lip. It's also fucking brilliant when your headset dies. So, uh, it's currently wired in. It's probably buzzing like mad. I don't care. Bugger. Nino, Nino. It's the Roses. It's the Roses. It's PC Quad in his bacon wagon. Of course I'm driving fast. I'm in a race, dipshit. <laughs> How come the highway speed limit is 55 miles an hour? Like in the UK, it's 70 miles an hour. And most of our drivers end up driving at like 100 miles an hour down there anyway. Because they're immature, irresponsible, and not very good role models. Should be showing us younger drivers how to properly you drive, and they don't. Think. Uh, looks like we have some missions. Great Palace. Hey, I hope this isn't a social call. I got enough friends. You're all charmed, but trust me, I don't want to hang out. I want races. Let's see what you can do against little old Nikolai. Go find him on the strip. He should be in a 1969. These guys like to keep things on the freeway. Flash him and the race starts from a row. How do I get off the highway? I'm on the highway to hell. I have never seen that though, where the junction is in the middle of the highway. Where you carry on on the highway and it's your junction. That's such a weird way of doing it. But it's cool. This is one of those street race series. Uh, let's cut across here before the cops come. Do you know, one thing I wish that would make it more realistic and make it more cool is if the car was loud enough, the cops could request for you to pull over. Oh, so you're the guy book set. Didn't think you'd show. This is a local hangout. These guys run local races out of here. Cool, man. Right, so I gotta win three races to beat the hangout. I'm probably gonna do about ten races. How do you learn to drive in the Midwest? On tractors? Oh, you're a funny guy. That's real funny. I'll be sure to laugh when I'm looking at you in my rear view mirror. I still can't work out what the handbrake is. Is there uh controls? Edit. Handbrake is a right bumper. But I've been using it. 
And it changes the camera. Something fishy's going on. I'll start playing games when I want to. Go, go, go. Go into the wall. This is where we find out if you can handle the pressure, baby. No, I can't. I can't handle any pressure. Ah! Help me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, please help me. I'm crashing like this. Fuckers. I've never seen a dude so trigger happy with the brake pedal. What do you mean I haven't used the brake once? Hey! Get out of my face! Just playing a little rough is all. So the more difficult races as well, the more difficult they are, the less checkpoints there are. So the more possible ways that you can take. Um, that's one thing I also love about this game, is the possibilities of where you go. You don't have to strictly stay on one road and follow the route that it tells you. Well, like, these ones you kind of have to because they're spread out in such a way that... You can't sort of cut corners. Uh, next race in the series. All right, man. See you at the start. This game is definitely what I call a grinding game, where you have to grind it to earn better stuff. I mean, all the parts are money. It's not like grinding for higher quality parts, but you still have to grind out to get. Higher up. Better cars. That's what I mean. Oh. We can win a second race. I don't think I actually upgraded my car when doing the first race. I sort of messed myself up because I done all um, exterior upgrades. I didn't do any performance stuff. Um, but doing performance this time is actually a lot better. No NOS again, just the turbo boost feature thing. The slipstream in. Slipstream boost. Let's try and think of a word for it. 3,296. Cool, man. See you there. Not bad. We're going up in the world. Right, this one cockpit cam. Are my neons off? 
Oh, I'm sad. My neon lights are off. Okay, so I've just worked out the top uh, meter is how far you've driven in the car. The bottom one is how far you've driven since the car spawned in. So, for example, the race. I did not see that truck come out of there. so many different races the fact is the map is tiny but they managed to fit like a Forza games worth of races in here it's insane and we've just finished the final race as well unless we get overtaken mysteriously in which case I will throw my controller through the TV but I don't need to. Series 1, we've taken down that hideout. We got ourselves 1.1 grand. Uh, we can race the series again. Oh, we could just hey, go on to the cruise. Man, but not me, baby. Right, uh, where are we going to? Uh, how long have we been... Oh, we've been recording for quite a while now. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, please click that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.